All right, today taking a quick look at this computer, the Tandy Radio Shack Color Computer 2 or Coco 2, as some people refer to them. Uh, pretty neat little system. Didn't have to worry about the power supply getting lost because it is built in. This, uh, this computer comes with a non removable cord. This is the North American version, as you can see. Case is a little bit yellowed. Uh, so I need to figure out what I'm going to do with uh, getting that case back to a, a little bit of a whiter shade. Attempt to do a retro brighting on it, but might try something else. I'm going to be using the, um, the RF modulator that's built in the computer. And I'll use this connector here to connect it to the TV. Now this, while it might be that RCA style jack uh, form factor, this is uh, not a composite. Hopefully it'll focus there. Not a composite uh, connection. This is an RF modulator um, connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece right here. It goes to like a 75 ohm uh, barrel connector used on a lot of North American TVs. And then it goes into that on the other side. So we'll connect that in here. And then we've got, looks like, almost like a, an aerial lead or television antenna lead. Uh, for a North American TV. So we'll go ahead and hook that up in the back. Now if you had a composite mod for this particular computer, you could you could plug into one of the composite uh, video in connections, but we don't have that in this computer. It's completely stock. So I'm going to be connecting this into where the antenna would typically go. And the other end going into the computer here. All right, image may look a little stretched. I've got the wide angle lens selected on my phone here so we could see the computer and the television at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power and success. We have channel, channel three there, oh, it disappeared. Uh, on the television antenna selection, one problem I ran into earlier, and it took me a moment to figure out what was going on, if you have a, an option on your television for cable or aerial lead or an, antenna, uh, you'll need to select the antenna because what this does is the RF modulator that's built into the computer simulates a television channel on three. Now, it does have a selector switch on the back. You could do channel four as well. Uh, just a little bit about this particular computer. Um, my mom knows I collect uh, older computers, and she saw this at a yard sale. Picked it up for about three dollars, uh, three U.S. dollars. So this is really a good buy, and it works great. I didn't have to do anything to it. It, it might need a little retro brighting on the case, or or something to whiten it up. But other than that, it works great. The power supply is built in, like I mentioned a moment ago, so didn't have to worry about that. The only thing I had to find was that little connection that goes to the uh, antenna on the television. So, all right, let's uh, let's get this camera a little bit closer to the screen. Hopefully, the video is usable. I don't have a video capture card that can handle an RF uh, modulator input. So we'll we'll test it out in a moment on uh, some of the games and see what it does. All right, it's a little bit closer here. Let's see what we can do about getting a game going. Now I've noticed, uh, now this is new to me, if you're watching this video you probably already have a Coco or used one in the past, but I didn't know this. When it says on the extension there, bin, uh, that's when you have to type load M and then the file name to load it. If it says BAS, I guess that's basic, you just type load. The other, the other thing is when it finishes, if it's a basic program you type run and it goes, if it's a bin you type EXCC for execute and then it goes that way so I just thought I'd mention that in case you didn't know because I didn't know EXEC for execute EXEC 
Yep, my skill level is about zero. Let's try that. Oh, this is like joust. I'm this guy right here. So, I'm guessing it's, you gotta be just a, a little bit higher than they are when you hit them to knock them off their, their bird. I can't seem to get up there. Oh, here we go. Now. See if I can bump one. Ooh. Oh, you got me. Let's see. Got an egg. Ooh, he got me again. <laughs> got him. Yeah, neat game. I notice my sound is not working. I'm not sure why that is, but I'll have to investigate that. All right, let's try. Uh, let's try something else. All right, demolition derby. Let's see how it plays. Okay. Oh, okay, so the throttle is pressing up on the joystick. Oh, you can bounce. It's kind of like, uh, ooh, the wall is destructive. Don't hit the wall. Okay, where am I at? Oh, here I am. Okay. It's kind of like uh, bump and jump. Pressing the button doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, uh, so he, he knocked me into the wall. I guess the object is to knock them into the wall. First time playing this. These games actually look pretty good. I, I've never, having never owned a Tandy in my childhood, never got to, to play these. But they're pretty good. I don't know why my sound isn't working, but that's, I'm sure, just an issue with how I've got it hooked up somehow. Let's see if I can bump one of them. Oh, it's kind of... Not very responsive. Oh, there you go. I bumped one. Ooh, ooh, almost. Yeah, I bumped myself into the wall. That's not good. Anyway, I just wanted to, to fire this uh, this Tandy up, see how it looks, see what the games look like. I'm going to continue and play a few of these. Might even make a favorites collection later on after I've played a few. Yeah, pretty neat games. Let's see, what's this? Oh, oh, that's not uh, something you could bump. <laughs> okay, still figuring this out. Shooting the cats. I guess those are cats. Oh, they don't look like cats when they're up there. Ooh, they shoot back. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that one. First time playing this game. Got me again. I'm not good at demo in these games, huh? Oh, you, I guess you got to hit him right on the balloon. Oh, it can deflect your arrows if you hit them in the wrong spot.
I didn't even get a shot off before he got me that time. All right. Neat game. I'll have to practice more on this one. One player. Let's see. I think I am uh, supposed to knock the other horses or flying, yeah, flying horses. I guess that's what Pegasus is. Oh, it's kind of like Joust, except. You don't see an egg when you hit them. It's like a little grave or something. Oh, that one got me. Come on. Oh yeah, that's like a neat joust variant to there. Watch out when you hit the top, you bounce downward. It cause you to go lower than the other guy. Uh, ooh, got me again. Oh, this is a good one. I like this game. All right, moving on. Pitball two, let's give it a try. Looks very much like Pitfall 1, but with swimming. I don't think that was in the original. It's a gold bar. <laughs> Ooh, the eel almost got me. Wait a minute. I think I passed up a gold bar on that last one. Oh. oh. <laughs> Bounces you back a ways. Oh. A good ways. Look at that. Oh, all the way back to the beginning. Oh, that was lovely. Let's try that again. Yeah, this is what I passed up the first time. Gold bar on the bottom. Watch that electric eel there. That thing got me again. Okay, well, I get the point of this one. Pitfall two. All right, in closing, I will just say this is a pretty neat machine. Um, I've never never had one as a kid, but now that I'm an adult, I do have one. I'm going to learn how to use this thing. I'll be on the lookout for a disk drive. Currently, I'm using um, emulation for the disk images and all that you, that you've seen me load here. So i gotta I got to find a disk drive. Uh, this is the Big Bird game, by the way. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Uh, oh, there we go. Man, who doesn't love this? <laughs> anyway, uh, hopefully in the next video I'll have a, uh, a disk drive 
to actually show you with floppy disk the operation of this. But until then, I'll be uh, I'll be doing this right here. So, cheers for now.